And the project is exploring the ideas of identity and what it means to live in the places that we live and how we see the world and how we see ourselves. This whole project is about students' identity and mental well-being um, and how the two link together, creating their own memory keepsake books. So they've been paper folding and skill building and learning how to relax while doing art, but also exploring who they are and putting that in a book so that they can keep it for themselves and refer back to it and kind of just feel good about themselves. That's the idea of today. For about me, I like star signs, zodiacs and all that. And I also love like gothic things like skeletons and bats. This book actually like reminds myself of me. It actually was actually kind of like therapeutic and actually got my mind off like all the stressful things in my in my head. I think it's kind of therapeutic as well. Just seeing what you actually like. Because it's not what your friends think, what you think it's what you think. Welcome to the Camera Obscura. Has anybody been to a Camera Obscura before? You might think of it as entering into inside a camera so it's like a giant camera but it's actually an optical device that precedes all the photography that we know. Obviously I wasn't quite sure what was going to happen but when I actually went in it was so cool because you could see the live movements and like the birds moving. Every angle. Every angle. It's like amazing. It's kind of weird because like when you're just looking around the world and stuff you don't really realise every little movement, like birds moving around. But when you're in that room, you can really see every perspective of the world, if you get what I mean. How beautiful it really is. 